Amazing, that raw grain in tune for that splash. That splash is where the animal's having the drink. That's where he must go. I hear an Australian accent. I already know something wild finna happen. Why? Bro, why? be doing this what did the crocodile do to you why put yourself in danger I'm gonna tell you right now even the cameraman was in danger I'm gonna keep saying that white folks are fearless I I have been on this earth for for 30 something years and I have never seen a black crocodile hunter I don't this girl off Instagram she done cooked for me food look good I just started seeing your buzz. You got a dead roach right here. Bro, like, why would you sit there and record stuff in my house? Why would you invite me over here knowing that you got roaches? Okay, it don't matter. Like, why are you recording? Because I'm going to expose you. For what? I met you off Instagram. It does not matter. Like, that's not cool. Like, why would you do that? You know what's not cool? You done invited me over here with roaches. Bro, nobody else has ever had a problem. I'm because not everybody else. else. It does not matter. You live in College Park. So We're not talking about you right now. You're not talking about me right now. How you gonna bite? This is real. This can't be real. You got a dead roach, and you got one. You got one right there. It does not matter. Bro, bro, no, no. This not my house. You should have this shit clean before I came up here. My house is clean, but just because you see a roach don't mean I'm dirty. What the hell you mean? That's a fact. You don't think you're dirty if you got roaches? No, I'm not dirty. That's a fact. What's your purpose of recording what's going on in my house? So you feel some kind of way because I pull my phone out and start recording? Yes, I do. Like you wouldn't feel no type of way if I did that. You act like you ain't had no. You ain't never seen a roach. So that's not dirty. How I'm gonna enjoy my meal? You got roaches and shit. Nah. Shit, how I know? Look at me. Stop playing. Like, who cares? Like, you don't care. Like, I care. Like, like, you don't care. 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 That that wasn't one of them roaches that you seen people house when they dirty. And Georgia is something you gotta get used to. That water bugs are just gonna find ways to get inside your house. This kind of reminds me of when I was in high school and the kids in there would see roaches and would start jumping on the chairs and jumping on the tables. And I'm sitting back like, my nigga, you live in Brownsville. I know you got roaches. The roach we looking at might have came out of one of y'all jacket. You the Uber that bought the damn roach to school. But now you acting like you scared. To the gentleman that matched with me on a dating app and then subsequently found me here on social media. I found your wife. I found her profile really quick. Sir, I don't think she poly. That's diabolical. You should have read my, my bio. It said monogamous, right? But, but you... So-called Polly. Should I befriend your wife at this point? Oh, that's that's even since, worse. Since we trying to be one big happy family, or, or should you go find something else to do? I think it's best if you find something else to do. To the general. Like I'm, I'm curious. I'm so curious. Okay, if you married, why are you trying to cheat on a dating app? You shouldn't be cheating. Period. But common sense would tell you. You shouldn't be on a dating app. You're going to get caught. This is... Look at this lady. Who has my stuff. He won't give it to me. I paid for it. Can you send him? I'm under his truck. I'm, yes, he is, and I will not let I'm him trying leave. to leave. Bro, why is she under laying under the truck? I'm under his truck, and I will not let him leave. 3810 South 158th Street. Man, that's not safe. Somebody can hit you. You need to get out under See, there. I'm, uh, well, I'm in front of the gate, but I live in B10. I'll wait for my supervisor. I won't leave, but get out of there. You're going to get hurt. Yes, it is. I ain't going to lie, bro. I would have started a truck and I would have revved it up just to see what she would have did. 
No, I'm you have to get out of them. This UPS truck because he will not put it on a cart or even let me help him put it on a cart. He wants to leave it on the street in front of my gate when that is not. And I said, give me my stuff and he's not. He says, I have to arrange a different way to have it delivered. And Amazon said it would be delivered to my door. So I'm not going to let him leave until he gets my stuff. So I'm laying under his truck. So Ma'am, get out police. of there. I'm not going to leave. That's for your own safe. You're going to get hurt. I'm not going to get hurt laying here, honey. I'm 70 years old. A, dog, a car can oh, well, pass by and hit you. The, nope. No weapons. Just a 70-year-old body, honey. Okay. She's climbing on the truck. I don't want to sound ignorant, but it's a few things that run through my mind when I see Karen's one she's not getting enough penis at home or two you have a psychological issue that not even no man or no penis could fix I just don't be understanding why are you so angry why are you yelling at me am I your child I'm your child am I your child no I am your child tell me you make a big club. She chewing like a camel. Go, go, go. Every few seconds. That's my job. I'm just telling you to do my job. I'm just doing my job. What are you so angry for? Where are you going to go? Kill me. Where are you going to go? I said move up. That's all I said. Okay. Okay. Where are you going to go? 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 I don't know if you consider her TSA, but I hate TSA. I don't like the way they speak to people. TSA reminds me of bouncers at the club. They just confrontational, and I feel as though they're confrontational because they feel as though they can get away with it. Like, they have a green light to basically mess up your day. So I do not mess with TSA. Uh, secondly, I am pretty confident that the reason why he's so upset is because he's not used to getting spoken like that from nobody with a pum pum. So I'm pretty sure that's what it was. He he was hostile, like, who are you talking to? Hey, why do all men do this? They could have like the most amazing weekend. I mean, they can meet the president of the United States. They can get a brand new car. They can be on their dream vacation. And then you go to their Instagram and it's like one picture of him and his dog. Like, what? Like, are you hiding something or you just don't want people to know what you're doing? Someone please explain this to me. Okay, why do all... Simple answer. We don't move on validation. I don't care about your likes. I want to enjoy the moment. I feel as though most of us dudes, we enjoy the moment. You know how many times me and my wife went to dinner and she'll stop the floor of things to, to get a video of the food. Or we'd be going someplace and, oh, babe, can you take a picture of me right here? And I'm not upset at her doing that, but at the same time, like, I don't see myself doing that. I know I'm supposed to based on the fact I'm an influencer now, you know what I'm saying? I'm on social media and I'm supposed to. And really, that's the reason she does it, too. Let me backtrack. She does it because it kind of goes into her business. You know, she promotes womanhood and... She promotes, like, beauty and just experience in life and all that. So I can understand why she does it. But at the same time, I'd rather enjoy the moment, dog. I wake up in the middle of the night to go use the bathroom, and my dude phone is sitting on a nightstand. So as I'm walking past the phone, the screen lights up because he just received a text message from a bitch that's supposed to be blocked. Ooh. I don't even have to use the bathroom no more. I go straight in the kitchen and fill up this big silver pot with mad ice chips out the freezer and the water as cold as I could run it. So I go back to the bedroom and drown him because I need him to wake up immediately. You need to understand clearly every question I'm about to ask. Man's jump up out his sleep immediately, swinging and all that. But from past experiences of waking dudes up, I knew to step back. I asked him calmly. Past experiences show she talks. His response is, why are you in my phone? It was at that point I told him, him and his PlayStation can get out my house. When he leave, then he knock on my door 10 minutes later to show me a text in his phone where she like, oh, I text you about this job offer. But the fact he replied to her had me mad hot and I punched him straight in the face. Which I don't even know why I did because I had no chance on Allah's green earth of beating that man. 
he flipped my big ass right over the recliner and walked straight out the front door. Of course, I opened the door to call him all type of losers as he leaving. Why the ring bell record everything? My mom said it to me like, so this what we doing now? But yeah, y'all think I was wild for that? I wake up in the middle of... Yeah, you wild for putting hands on that man. You are wild for putting hands on that man. But at the same time, I will say that I don't blame you if you want to end the relationship. If you and somebody had a conversation about a particular individual, the ending uh, resolve for that problem was that you have to block that person. If I walk by your phone and I see that person's name, that shows a level of disloyalty. Okay, so... Um, you were right to be upset if you see somebody still communicating with your spouse that's supposed to be blocked. And the reason that person is supposed to be blocked is because they're not respecting your relationship. Yet still, your boyfriend or girlfriend is still communicating with that person. I feel like that's a problem. But to take it to that extent, you're wilding. You're wilding. No, no woman should be putting her hands on a man. No man should be putting his hands on a woman. That's just how I feel about that type of situation. A Texas man named Tyler, he has been found guilty of basically insider trading by the SEC. He has to owe them a whole bunch of money. Well, the reason why is because Tyler had been listening in on his wife's Emily's business phone calls. And she happens to work in, or worked, sorry, in mergers and acquisitions for BP, British Petroleum. He made a trade right before an acquisition that he knew about coming because of her job. And he, you know, made over $1.7 million dollars on that single trade, which was an insider trade. He very stupidly told his wife, Emily, about it. Emily, who works in mergers and acquisitions and didn't want to be known as the lawyer with the husband who will insider trade, turned him in to BP. So she lost both her job. Emily is snitch. He is either going to go to prison if he can't fork over the money to the SEC, or he just owes the SEC a load of money, all the money, plus more that he made off of this insider trade. So they're now filed for divorce. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is why I could never date a green ass female. This is why I can never be around green-ass people. This is why I hate being around people who are smart but don't have no common sense. I can't believe you did this. This, this is so wrong. <laughs> Emily, you a rat. Who is going to know that your husband did the insider trading? That's the definition of not being a ride or die. So remember I told you I had one more talk of stage in me, one more relationship, and that was it. I think I'm through. I think I'm through. I can't even get to the to the uh, talker stage because everybody not looking for nothing serious, not looking for a relationship, not looking for a girlfriend. What you looking for, a homeboy? Oh, no, 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 They're looking for somebody they can just suck and fuck on and have no obligations and no commitment to, which I don't know who the fuck they looking for because I give all types of wife over here. I'm tired. I'm tired of just, you know what I'm saying? Having a good time with somebody and they kicking them out of my house. Because I don't do sleepovers and move-ins. That's one thing. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, cook breakfast for somebody. Ask somebody how they like their eggs. I want somebody to be asking me what I'm cooking for dinner tonight. And tell me they coming for a plate. I'm trying to go out and know everybody know I got a plus one. Because they know I go everywhere with my men. It's giving. Why? What's wrong? What's can the man just come to the check and y'all come talk to me for a second? Like, what is it? It can't be the goals. I got goals too. Yo, you need to learn how to delegate your feelings and compartmentalize what the fuck you got going on. Y'all need to learn priorities. Learn how to communicate. You got to hang with a bitch every day. I just, here's my thing. I really would like to know. Like, so y'all get, get into the comments. Y'all let me know. But I just, I, it's an epidemic. It's an epidemic. What they say? It's an epidemic. If I can get divorced. Remember I told y'all I had one more talk. Um, that goes for both men and women, though. Nobody really wants to settle down. We have too many options and we have too much access. Social media, the internet, give us too many access to people's lives. The celebrities that we used to admire on TV that we only saw on certain shows... Now we can follow them on Instagram or on Facebook or on YouTube and we see how them and their significant others are living and now we want to live like that. There's so many different flavors of women and men out there and we want to sample everything. <laughs> 
We want a sample of everything. It's and that shit is promoting a promiscuous ass society. I know I'm really like breaking it down for y'all, and I don't really speak like this, but I understand where she's coming from. Think about when you go to a restaurant and you look at the menu and the menu has so many good things that you can choose from and you choose your main course. You finish your main course and you're you're satisfied, but in the back of your mind you are still wondering what this other meal that you saw on the menu would have tasted like. So now you plan on coming back to taste that, to, to get that other meal. When you dating, once you settle down, there's no coming back to get the other meal. And that's what a lot of people are avoiding. So what they do is, oh, you know what? Um, I'm not looking for nothing serious right now. So what they're doing is getting a sample, and but leaving the option open so they can get a sample of something else that they were looking at, leaving the option open to get a sample of something else that they're looking at. And that's the society we're living in right now. Nobody wants to settle down and just have that one person. Everybody wants to have their cake and eat it too. Or everybody wants to have a piece of multiple cakes. Yeah. Well, I like that. <laughs>